I'm sorry, I was just getting seated. Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Ro Cervantes, and I'm gonna be your host. I don't want to put the amiibo down. Also, I need a... I like burgers or something, and it's finally cold in Los Angeles. I think the last time I recorded, it was hot. It's been like, a, like two weeks, maybe, since I last recorded. So it's about time I start doing this again. I still have not uploaded any videos. I think the last time that I uploaded a video was when, like... Who's... I, I mentioned somebody's name, but I don't remember whose it was. It's already November 11th. Nine more days until Mario Tennis Ultra Smash comes out, and still like less than a month until Xenoblade Chronicles X comes out. Can't wait. Also, there's supposed to be a Nintendo Direct tomorrow. I would talk about it, but you know, I'm still recording videos and I haven't uploaded anything. And by the time this is uploaded, that Nintendo Direct will have been long since passed. But I can't wait, they haven't had one for a few months, ever since, um, Mystery Wada died, rest in peace. So, I, but I can't wait to see what kind of news we get. I'm expecting at least, like, a Fire Emblem Fates, um, Fire Emblem Fates, like, oh, wow, I already got the star, that was fast. Yeah, sure, I'll take it. Expecting a release date for Fire Emblem Fates, like Birthright and Conquest and even Invisible Kingdom, or whatever it ends up being called over here. It hasn't gotten a name in English for the third path yet, so I'm just gonna call it Invisible Kingdom for now. Just like how it's called White White Light Kingdom and Dark Night Kingdom, I think. Or something like that. Black Kingdom and White Kingdom. Something like that. I think I like Birthright and Conquest better. Recently, I don't know if I said this before, but I bought a Japanese 3DS just to play Fire Emblem If. And I've played through all three paths already, but I'm actually playing through them again. Just finish. I had like when I stopped making videos because my laptop stopped working. In the meantime, what I did to like when I wasn't like getting a new laptop, when I didn't have a new laptop yet, and I was like just passing my time doing other stuff. Oh, I don't even remember how to play this. What button do you hold to not hit the bomb? What button do you? I think you just shake the remote. All right, hold up. Oh damn it. Well, computers aren't hard. Ugh. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. oh, almost hit that one. Oh. oh. Man, hold up. I gotta concentrate on this one. Are we even getting- are we getting a, like, hole-in-ones or something, or what? Oh. Ah, oh, no! Damn, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, well, I'm winning anyways. No! Oh my god. I didn't even hit that one first. No! Oh my god. I think Yoshi could have caught up if he would have hit it first, because I had 220, and he had like 180, 90, 200, 210. Now, well, he would have had 230, and I would have, if I would have hit it last, I would have gotten 230 also, so he would have caught up to me. No, so what I was doing while my laptop was, well, while my channel was out of commission, and the Smash Cup Bros channel was also out of commission, we don't still don't know when we're going to start recording again. Georgia said, when I get Super Mario Maker... Because that game is, like, rageful. And we'll all probably get mad, like, trying to play levels that we suck at. <sighs> Maybe one of these days. Well, like I was saying is... So what I was doing while I was away from YouTube... Technically not away, because I still watch YouTube videos. I just couldn't, like, record or anything. Because I had, like, the iPod. By the way, my iPod's camera sucks now. I don't know what happened to it. It, like... If you hold down on the camera, not like the camera button or anything, but like on the actual camera, you can see like blue, like blue light on the borders of the, of the iPod or something like that. I don't know how to explain it, but I don't know what happened to it. I don't have enough money. What does this board do again? I don't even remember what this, is this Transform Mega? I don't have special blocks though. Oh, they're going to give me one? Uh, all right, I'll, I'll take it. Oh, is this one just like for items? That sucks. There's stars on that, so I'm, I'm assuming we can get stars from that. Another uh, dice. All right, I'll take that one also. All right, like I was saying before I get distracted again, I was marathoning every single Fire Emblem that has come out in America, except for Fire Emblem Myth, of course, because that one still hasn't come out yet. Played through Fire Emblem Seven. Spoke about it already. Thought. Um, 
Lloyd and Linus were a lot harder than the final boss. Play through Fire Emblem 8. That one was actually not even that hard. Of course, I did arena abuse, but I'm gonna play through it again one of these days. Maybe on the channel without arena abusing. Like, I'll go to the arena every once in a while. Like, maybe once or twice, and that's it. Um, Fire Emblem 8, the final boss was, um... The final boss was more annoying than it was, like, hard, because... Oh, come on, that was mine. Alright, so that's what those things do. Wait, did he choose to steal from me specifically, or did he... Or was it random? Also, my Wii U is pretty loud all of a sudden. Like, I can actually hear it. I usually can't hear it. Oh man, I remember this minigame. I suck at this one. Or at least I don't like it that much. Fire Emblem 9 is a classic. One of my favorites. It's the one with Ike in it. First Fire Emblem I ever beat. I loved it. Fire Emblem 10 I loved even more. And actually when I played through Fire Emblem 10, that was... That had got to have been like my f best run at Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn. Also I know the names of them. Fire Emblem 7, Reckonoken. Oh damn it. I had it too much. Fire Emblem 8, Sacred Stones. That was my best playthrough. Usually I don't even use Meg and Fiona, but I use them and I'm glad I did. They weren't that bad. Especially in the later levels, they became like really good. In the earlier levels, they sucked, especially Fiona. But man, I, that was like my best playthrough. I'm so proud of it. I'm still pretty proud of it. Fire Emblem. What came out after Radiant Dawn? I think it was Shadow Dragon. I was thinking about buying it on the DS, but then I thought, uh, I'll wait. It's in Europe and the Wii U eShop, so I'll just wait for it to come over here on the eShop. Hopefully it does. I mean, it better. Then 12 was JP only, and I didn't feel like buying that. Um, 13 Awakening, I played through it. Actually, it took me in, like an entire month almost to beat it. Because I beat the story and everything, and all the chapters and the DLC, except for the Apotheosis and... um. The roster rescue, the five five Anna firefight, and um, and the other one where like there's spikes on the floor and you get like one HP. Those are <clears throat> those are a little too much for me, especially apotheosis. I can't even get close to beating that. I need to sneeze. But um, I would have been finished with that game a long time ago. But I wanted to turn everybody into all of their classes. Do I even have enough money for a star? One, two, three, six. No, I won't have enough money for a star. I won't use. No, but then they could just steal my slow dice block. All right, now I can't see what the spaces are. All right. Warp pipe. Oh, I could just warp pipe back to the the pipe space back there. But how many? Now Yoshi can't get the star. Now, I, I'm not gonna use the dice block. I'm just gonna go go ahead and go like this. Maybe I'll get. Oh, I could have just chosen to get three and then waited on the next turn. Gosh, I'm an idiot. <sighs> so I made all the. I I unlocked like all the. Played as Robin and I married Lucina and. Um, damn, I just need it. If Yoshi wasn't there, I would have had that that those three coins and star. <clears throat> So Morgan had like Ignis and or Ignis or how, I don't know how you pronounce it Ignis I say Ignis. Also, how do you pronounce Churchy's name? The Wyvern Rider, mother of Jerome. I say Churchy, but I feel like that's wrong. So I unlocked all of the. That was the first time I played through the game where I got all the all the support conversations, and I had like I went through everyone's classes. I even went through the Bride and the Dread Fighter for everyone. Took an entire month for all of that, but I'm glad I did it. And I only used the characters that were in the game at the beginning, so I didn't get any DLC characters or anything. I'm gonna do the same thing for all three paths of Fire Emblem Myth, which I know is gonna take a long time. I'm debating whether doing that right now or if I should wait for Fire Emblem Fates and then do that there. I think I'm gonna do that for Fire Emblem Fates and not if, because I want to actually see what the support support conversations are. But I'll probably like do it quickly for if, or I'll probably only do it for the third path, and I, I'll just skip it for like the first two paths and just play through those two like the normal way. Um, here's one. Um, here's the other one. Luigi didn't even move. They're on hard, right? Is hard even a hard difficulty in this game? Um, oh, I'm on one right now. 
Alright, I beat him to it. Ah, I thought this one was one. I'm on one right now. Um, this one? Nope. This is not one either. Maybe I should put him on a harder difficulty. I guess hard isn't hard enough. So yeah, when Fire Emblem Fates comes out, I'm gonna go through all three paths. I have the Fire Emblem Amiibo so I can get Marth, Ike, Lucina, and Robin. Can't wait. Also, I finally bought Super Mario Maker after like months of it being out. I think it came out in September and I just got it right now in November. It's not even like a, two months since it came out. I've been making a big deal about how I finally got it. Usually I buy Mario games, so of course it was going to be a matter of time before I bought it. He's going to steal my slow dice block, isn't he? Right? Oh, screw that. Damn, it was that one. I should have used it. Gotten a three. I don't know what I was thinking. I have a four through six dice block now, so that's fine. Can't wait to play Mario Maker. I haven't played it yet. Although I have a bunch of games on my backlog, and I'm playing through Fire Emblem If right now. All oh, three paths too, so... It's gonna be a while. Here, let me look at the list of the games I still need to beat. That I bought. That I haven't played yet. After I put the Mario token down. So now it's gonna be 75% Yoshi, 25% Mario. Um, how do I... I'm just gonna leave the, me the amiibo right there. Alright. Let's see what we get. Also, I have a Link amiibo. I don't know if I've mentioned that. What does the Mario board do again? Coins, I think? Oh, that's items. Also. Oh, okay, so we have stealing items and spending money on item shops. I'd say that's pretty okay. Four through six. Um, yeah, I'll use it. Maybe I'll get a chance of going to the star faster. And maybe I won't. That wasn't a six, that was either a four or a six. We should have gotten the in-between five. That would have been a lot better. Alright, so here's a list of games that I still need to pass. I mean, I don't have to pass Pokemon, Diamond, Pearl, Platinum. I've beaten them before, but I'm gonna go through them one more time because I haven't played them in a long time. I also have written down Hyrule Warriors as in the DLC. I haven't beaten the Majora's Mask DLC yet because I need to grind up my characters. Plus, then Hyrule Warriors Legends is going to come out. And hopefully I don't have to buy the game in order to get the Wind Waker DLC because I would suck. What else is on here? Um, I also have... Oh yeah, I bought Xenoblade Chronicles 3D like months ago and I still haven't played it yet. I also have Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver. I've beaten Soul Silver before, but I'm gonna go through one of them again, just to like make sure. Because when I first beat them, it's been years since I've beaten a Pokemon game. I, ha I have X, and I haven't even beaten that yet, and I haven't even touched Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. It's like I just have them to have them, but I'll beat them. I'm gonna beat them one day. We also have um. Oh man, I want to look at the list, but at the same time, I want to win. I'll go this way. Don't follow me. Damn, they all fall. Whoa, I should have fallen off right there. Yeah, they think we need a difficulty <clears throat> that's higher than hard. <coughs> no! I think I took the better path. Puzzle and Dragon Z and Super Mario Bros. Edition. I like that game. I haven't, I haven't played it in a while. I was going to pass them, but I got distracted with a different game, I think. But... I remember them saying Super Mario Bros. Edition was the easier path, but no, that thing spikes up in difficulty in World 2 and World 3. I don't even think I've beaten World 2 yet. I think I got stuck in like one of the castle levels. Maybe I'm just playing the game wrong and I'm not like leveling up the characters the right way or something. But I don't know. I don't use the Toad character problem. I've played like a little bit of the, of the actual puzzle and Dragon Z. I've only played a little bit of it though. I have Pokemon Black and White written down also, but technically, I've beaten Pokemon Black before, but I'm going to beat one of them again. I also have Splatoon written down for some reason. I already beat the single player. Supposedly, there's going to be a huge update announced at, in the Nintendo Direct. <laughs> Maybe. Hopefully, that's true. Maybe we'll finally get to play as the Octolings. Alright, so is there any way to get a star? Maybe if you trade in a slow dice block, it'll give you a star. I feel like that should be fair. Oh man, and I had a slow dice block too, damn. We've also got, um... 
Pokemon Black 2 and White 2, which I beat... Wait, have I beaten Black 2 yet? I beat Black... No, I don't think I've ever beaten Black 2. Oh, time to beat Black 2 for the first time. Oh yeah, I also recently bought Call of Duty Black Ops 2 for the Wii U. On my Mario Kart playthroughs, I think, that I recently recorded, I wrote... I said in the video, so Black Ops 2 on Wii U, yay or nay? And I bought it anyways, and I still haven't uploaded the video, so... It's gonna say right here that I bought it before I uploaded that video. Oh, I have another slow dice block. Maybe I can trade it in for a star. Unless those stars are just there for decoration. There's... There has to be... There's stars right there for a reason. There has to be something. And they have slow dice blocks there too, so maybe slow dice blocks for a star? Or maybe a star for slow dice blocks. Not sure why you would want to make that trade. So yeah, Black Ops 2 on Wii U, I've only played... I don't really play Black Ops 2 competitively. So far, I've only been playing with bots, like on the harder difficulties, and they are pretty challenging. They like instantly find you and everything. Oh my god, I hate this minigame. They instantly find you, which is funny. 